Hey guys, it's Superstar0717. Um, I hope you guys' FNMs went pretty well this weekend, or excuse me, this Friday. Um, mine did. Uh, real quick, let me just run down my matchups real quick. Uh, so round one, I played Green White Humans. Uh, I beat them 2-1 uh, to advance to 1-0. Uh, round two, I played Illusions. 2-0 uh, to them to go to 2-0. Uh, round three, I played Mono Black Infect. Uh, I won 2-1 to one to go to 3-0. Uh, round four, I played Green White uh, Township Tokens. Uh, sadly, I went 0-2. Uh, dropped me down to 3-1. Uh, round, excuse me, that was round four. Round five. Uh, I played against Wolf Ramp, beat them 2-1 to go to 4-1, and one. Um, and it was a pretty small event, so that I qualified for top four, um, and it was a different Green White Tokens player. I lost 1-2. and two. Um, That deck is just nasty, and that's basically the purpose of this video. Uh, and I went to 4-2, and two, and the guy who beat me in top four would end up winning it 2-1 uh, two, uh, two, uh, against Wolf Ramp, and uh, the Wolf Ramp guy played Mono Black Infect for his top four. Um, so, with that being said, it was a small event, uh, we didn't have a top 8, we just had a top 4 and top 2. Um, there is some evaluation I want to do on the sideboard, and the two cards in the sideboard that I'm currently running are Slagstorm. Um, in both, uh, Gavany token builds that I played, um, by the time I got this card in hand, they were already out of reach of Slagstorm due to, excuse me, due to their Anthem effects, um, let me just look it up real quick. Um, sorry, they were out of reach basically due to, you know, they were running Micaeus, um, Intangible Virtue, and stuff like that. And um, by the time I really got the Slag Storms in hand, they were already out of reach for that. And so I do want to reevaluate this card. Um, it does excellent against uh, red deck wins, um, it does excellent against like those spammy decks like humans and stuff like that. Um, but the real issue with that, as well as the issue with this, is that it only deals three damage to target creature or to each creature. Um, three damage is a lot of damage for this format, but you do have cards that uh, start out small, and if you don't have this card when you know they are big, um, it it's kind of useless. It's, it's mostly just nuking your own field as opposed to theirs. Um, and so, in response to that, I do have a question for you guys. So. This card deal three damage to each creature or player. This card is a uh, card that could be a potential replacement. Uh, it's Blasphemous Act, if you don't know. It is a rare from Innistrad, uh, and its effect is it costs one colorless less to cast for each creature on the battlefield, and it deals 13 to each um, creature. <coughs> so going over my notes, against both human matchups, this card would have costed me one red uh, mana to cast to deal pretty much nuke their field and mine I guess. Um, the the whole issue with the deck is that um, they don't play any single like really good creature. They just I mean except for like Blade Hold and Blade Splicer, but um, they just play a bunch of really small creatures that get really big and you know you can only block one creature with one creature. So they get you in a situation where they're swinging with like 14 2 twos or 14 3 threes you can only block like three of them max and then they just kind of wreck your shit. So, is Blasphemous Act a better card than Slagstorm? Um, it could be. Uh, against, um, you know, the Birthing Pod matchup, it's worst. Um, Tempered Steel, it's actually better in that matchup, which is interesting because Tempered Steel is kind of seeing like a really... It, it, the turnout has, turn, has gotten really low lately, but in my meta, it's recently started picking back up again. Um, and against humans, Slagstorm, in my opinion, is better. Um, but Blasphemous Act does put in work in that matchup as well, um, because they will get off their heroes or blade holds and stuff like that. Um, so I guess my question for you is, is it worth, with you know green-white tokens somewhat uh, getting up there in you know the term, in the talks with the best attack of the format? Uh, you have your Wolf Run Ramp, which is, in my opinion, one of the best decks in the format. I don't necessarily have a huge problem with it. The Werewolf matchup is actually pretty good for that. Um, whereas uh, uh, Green White Tokens is just nasty. I mean, they clog the board so, so good, and their their Shrine of Loyal Legions is just ridiculous. 
Um, so my question to you is with the two sideboard spawns, um, would you rather have the two slag storms or two blasphemous axe? Um, let me just go over here real quick. Uh, so slag storm will deal three damage to each creature or player, and blasphemous axe will deal 13 damage to each cr uh, creature only. Um, slag storm costs three, no matter what the situation is, and. Um, Every time that I drew a slag storm against green white tokens, it was useless, like I said. And it would have just costed me one colorless to blow up their entire field. Or, excuse me, one red to blow up their entire field. So, my question to you with that spot is uh, green white tokens a big enough matchup in this format to side deck and slash or main deck, Blasphemous Act, uh, sort of as a uh, red uh, day of judgment? Or is slag storm the way to go because it's better in. Mm, decently more matchups, but the issue is while it's better in more matchups, how often are you playing those better matchups? Um, Blasphemous Act, you know, I would say in my last locals it was like 40% green white tokens, 20% um, humans, a couple mono black infects, two wolf runs, and one wolf player, which was me, um, and then there was like the random illusion player. Uh, no offense to illusion players, but yeah. So, like I said, I would just like to know you guys' opinion on this, uh, Slagstorm or Blasphemous Act. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys could uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, trying to get to 200 subs by Thanksgiving. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.